the only time that I'm ever going to get on here and record my voice for you is when I'm prompted to do so. Okay? And, um, I'm not, <laughs> bruh. I, it's not that I ignore the promptings. It's just that sometimes I have to, like, you know, Father, I'm so busy, Father. You've given me enough as it is. Like, can't, like let me get, let me get this done. Like, I don't always pick up my phone when I feel the prompting. Okay, is what I want to say. But I don't want people to think that I'm just ignoring the Father or I'm ignoring the Spirit. Like sometimes, very few, like is bruh. But this time. Um, I, re I really feel the prompting to, um, to speak on something, okay? Um, and yes, it's, it's a bit of an update, but it's also a praise report. And um, I'm just going to flow by way of the Spirit and what He gives utterance to me, okay? Now... Bruh, I went to the store on Tuesday, okay? Um, I had a little bit of cash left over um, from what my Aki gave me. Um, and this was this is basically uh, for something that I'm doing for him. Um, so that's all I'm going to say on that. Um, so anyway, I had a little bit of cash left over from that, but I was... I was strapped bruh like I'm like I don't I don't know how I'm gonna do all of what I have to do with what I have see I had like $44 okay I have $44 in cash I had to get a $25 money order um for rent plus they charge you a dollar at the Walmart I was at the Walmart um they charge you a dollar for the money order okay and, um, so that's $26 out of $44, okay? And then I needed to get Tiger another bag of food because he's on his last bag. So I, I got him another bag of food. His food is like almost $7, okay, um, for the stuff that starts with the flesh first, the meat first. And not grain first, because that, that stuff is horrible. And every single cat that I've had before him, they all had worms, okay? Tiger is very healthy. He is a strapping boy, okay? Because I take good care of my baby. Um, so anyway, I wanted to get him another thing of litter, even though uh, he has a little bit more, more than half of the big one. Okay, the double one that they double it up because they think everybody is he man and can just, you know, lug this heavy shit. Okay. Um, <laughs> so anyway, bro. Uh, all right. So stay on track. All right. Stay on track. So anyway, the um, big thing a litter is about $12. Okay. Plus, I needed more smokes because I'm running really low. On my smokes, okay? And, um... <laughs> bruh, I wasn't even thinking about the herb, but that too! You know? Like, I was I was more so thinking, like, damn, how am I going to get, like, my necessities out of this? Because now I'm going to have to put the litter back, and I still didn't have enough for my tobacco. Let me, let me look and see. Hold on. Let me, um, I'm just flowing here. And, um... This is real time, all right? Real time, I'm about to count what I had in cash because I didn't spend any more cash. <clears throat> so let's see. Okay, $10. I had $10 in cash, and that's without getting the litter, okay? That's without getting the litter. So, I got my baby's food, 
And um, I get my baby's food. And what else did I get with the cash? Uh, the $26. Well, I was going to do $26 for the money order. But I couldn't. I couldn't do $26 for the money order because their money order machine was down. So I was like, great, now I have to pay even more in order to get a money order. Because my, my hockey, uh, who took me to the store, um, he had to get a money order as well, okay? And so he suggested QT. So I already knew that QT charges because, bruh, I've been doing this for a long damn time. Having to get a money order for rent, okay? So Walmart used to charge, I think, 30 cents, okay? It was 30 cents at Walmart. And it was a dollar at QT, okay? Anything, anything um, 200 and less was only a dollar to get a money order. But now, it's a dollar at Walmart. And it's a dollar fifty at QT. Like, bro, I try my best not to stress and not to complain. Okay, I do, but I see this oppression, bro. These people act like we just want to go get a money order for rent. It's not something that I want, okay? It's something that I'm forced to have to do. And because I'm forced to have to do this, you are forcing me to have to pay more. Like, and people cannot see this oppressive ass fucked up system, bruh, and yes, I use the F word because it needs emphasis, this is a fucked up system that we live in, and people have become complacent with this bullshit, and I am not complacent whatsoever, okay, now, because all of this be on me, bro, and it's so heavy on me, okay, that's why my demeanor most of the time and the way I come across most of the time may seem edgy, okay? It may seem raw because I am raw, okay? I'm pure passion, okay? Like, I wear my emotions on my sleeve and I cannot help it, okay? This is the way that the Father made me, okay? I can't hide anything, all right, I can't, it comes across in my demeanor, it comes across in my voice, it comes across in just me, period, okay, I can't hide anything, all right, so, um, people take it wrong, though, they take it as if, you know, oh, I'm a, I'm a, um, you know, like, I'm an angry person, I'm really not, I'm way more calmer now that I know the father, and, and then I'm walking in my purpose. These things have taken a lot of stress off of me. To know that my father is going to take care of me and that he got me, okay? But see, all my life I had to fight. All my life, you know, has been hell, okay? So, <clears throat> is is. You know, gonna take me a little bit for the switch over, you know, to to understand that I don't have to worry, okay? Um, but I was worried that day, and there was a prompting, and this was after I was already done at the cash register. I was done at the cash register, had $10, okay? I didn't have enough to get my baby's litter, alright? Um... I'm almost going to cry, bro, because this is how the father is showing his love to me. I get done with the cash register, and there's a prompting on my spirit to look at my cash app. Now, um, it didn't pop up, you know, uh, it, it never really pops up it does sometimes you know so that's how I know when I get you know a love donation 
Because it, it'll have the little cash app symbol, you know, when I open my phone, it would be there, okay? So, I, I don't just log into my cash app every day. It's not like I'm just, like, waiting, you know, for a donation. I, I don't do that, you know? My mind ain't on money, okay? So, I go about my daily business, and, you know, when I open my phone to check my text messages or anything like that, if it's not there, you know, I'm thinking that there there's nothing there yet, okay? that, that That's my thought process says that there's nothing there because there's no, you know, little symbol there. It didn't pop up saying that, hey, someone donated, okay? So, um, I didn't think to check my cash app, all right? Because it never popped up that, that I had a new love donation. But as I left the line, and Maaki was actually behind me, and he bought the litter. I didn't know he was going to buy the litter, okay? He actually, he had bought the litter and all the cleaning supplies that, um, well, I had asked him if he could get the cleaning supplies because I knew that I couldn't afford the cleaning supplies, and I needed cleaning supplies, bruh. Like, I was literally, I was out of Clorox wipes, and I need that, you know, to help me clean the toilet, and, you know, just, bruh, I use Clorox wipes, and I didn't have any money I didn't have enough money to buy it okay I didn't I didn't I just didn't have it I needed Brillo pads to clean the stove um bruh I didn't have it I like my stove looked at like crap okay because I didn't have any money to buy Brillo pads in order to clean it okay um so it was just getting bad and I asked my Aki if he could um, get the cleaning supplies for me, um, this detergent, because I was almost out of it, and I get a specific kind, because I'm not trying to wash my dishes in pig fat, okay, this, I know about this diabolical system, and the, and the diabolical things that they have done, okay, many people are washing their dishes with pig fat, okay, and I ain't the one, bruh, I'm not the one, so, I use a plant-based this detergent, okay? Now, I said all that to say, bro. When he prompted me to just log into the Cash App as I was leaving the line and as I seen my Aki was buying, uh, and, and at this point, as it, as it came up, well, I had he had to help me bring it up because I couldn't. Well, I seen when I logged in there, I seen that I had a hundred dollars, and this is when he bought the uh, litter and the um the cleaning supplies and stuff. Um, so then he comes up and and like I'm telling him, I'm like, bruh, someone actually donated a, a hundred dollars to me, bro, like, and I'm trying to figure out where it came from, because it wasn't telling me, like, who did it, like, I couldn't see the name, I couldn't see the name, it wasn't showing me the name, and, and, like, they, I, I had just updated the app, so I couldn't figure it out, like, I kept pushing the one thing, and what would normally take me to see who donated, and it kept bringing up my own name, name, and, it, like, I'm just like, bruh, I couldn't figure it out, so he actually helped me, um, figure out that it was on the bottom right hand corner, it was really, really small, you click the little dot there, and voila, the name is there, thank you. Thank you. I don't know if you want me to say your name or not. Um, if you do, let me know that in the comment section. Um, I don't want to just put people, you know,'s business out there. I'm, I'm not the type of person to put people's business out there if they don't want it, you know, to be known. Um, so, if you don't mind me saying your name, I have no problem shouting your name out. Okay. Um, and it's not about this person wanting clout or anything like that. This person would just be letting me know to give me the go ahead to say their name. It's not about this person wanting clout and or, you know, admiration or nothing like that. But I I do thank this person. You know, this person is, is being used by the father. And I'm showing you that in this audio, okay, in, in what I'm, this presentation, what the Father has given to me is real time, baby. You know, I don't got no notes. This is, this is me, 100%. And I'm telling you the story on how I came across 
finding out that this person had donated to me. Now, this is the second time. This is the second time this person has donated $100 to me, okay? And it was always at these crucial moments where I truly needed it, okay? I truly needed it, and it came in, right? <sighs> My ex-girlfriend actually said that she cannot afford to pay my internet for this month now after getting the litter I paid my bro back for the litter um and what else did I get I, I got 70 70 um six dollars on there now yeah 76 dollars is left over from the hundred but it'd be minus the one, okay? The one dollar that I had on my cash app before she had cash app me, the hundred dollars. It is a female, uh, was a female name, okay? Um, but yeah, I, I don't want to just put her name out there. She, you know, rather it not be known. Um, so anyway, I have seventy six dollars left over from that. Now, if I was to pay the internet bill, um, that would actually put me down at under about 20, 20 something dollars. And um, there is other things that I need, like my tobacco. Now, I have the tin. Um, that and I, I just don't know the um internet is 52 something so about maybe 53 dollars um i'll be looking at to pay the internet and that would be out of 76 you know so whatever would be left over from that plus 10 dollars will be what i will have to my name and like i said you know i need tobacco i am pretty much practically out of herb um Tiger does have one more bag of food, and he has the litter. I have cleaning supplies. So it's just, bruh, I guess I'm just going to have to use it to pay, you know, the net. And I'm just going to have to go without my wants again, you know, because I, I have to have the necessities. And the necessity is to have my internet, you know. That's a necessity because I have to, you know, be able to put these videos out now I know the father still got me it's not that you know I don't know man all I know is that um, the father has me either way but I think I am gonna take part of that and pay the internet okay because she can't afford to pay it this month and um, she's going through stuff, you know, and this routes this around to this because I was thinking about this the other day. I'm like, Father, I don't understand. Like, she's been sowing unto your servant, so why is she having such a hard life? Like, why is she going through so much? Um, and because I just don't understand. Because the Father said when you bless his people you know, you will be blessed, okay, so, he basically put on my spirit, he's like, well, it's the same thing when you've sown love and kindness and goodness and mercy and all these things pretty much all of your life, but yet, you have had a really hard life and hardly no one has shown mercy to you except for a few. You know, hardly no one has shown love to you except for a hand, like a few, okay? So it's just like, bruh, um, we have our blessings coming. And it's just, I think, like, like how he put on my spirit about how these are trials and tribulations even though she's blessing me she's still being purged in the fire okay he's making her like fine gold okay obviously there she has a purpose okay she has a high calling 
on her life and she may not even know it okay but the reason why is not for nothing it's not for nothing okay and so this is what the father helps me to understand um though you do good and though you're you're doing the will of the father it does not necessarily mean that you're not going to go through fire it's not like you're not you're not going to have problems and because i was thinking i'm like father like how in the heck is she going through all of this but yet she's sowing unto your servant you know if it wasn't for her i would not have had internet for a year okay bruh so i just i would inquire that from the father and like so he basically puts on my spirit it's the same thing as that message why do we suffer for long periods of time before the breakthrough like that wasn't the exact title of the video that i had done but that's close to it I did a video about this um, that he literally had downloaded to my spirit the reason why we suffer for long periods of times. Why we suffer for long periods of times before the breakthrough or before the blessing. Here it is. Why we go through long periods of suffering before the blessing. Okay, I, I uploaded this a month ago. Okay. So the father is going to truly bless her. Um, when and or how, I don't know. But um, her blessings are coming. Um, she's pretty much been my number one supporter. She supported me first before anybody, okay? Um, and she was with me through my journey, okay, through my journey, to my life's purpose, she was in my life, okay, um, we've known each other for about 11 going on 12 years, so, um, Bro, I'm literally just flowing by way of the spirit and just talking about the things that comes up in my spirit, okay? Um, there's something big that's going to happen for her. And I don't, I don't know how or when, but I know that she has great things coming for her life. And so do I, okay? Um, because of the life that I've lived, bruh, I, I'm, I've never been the type of person to, you know, be shady to people and, and, or ill treat people or take advantage of people. That's not me. I've always been the one taken advantage of. Okay. I've always been the one looked at as naive because I trusted people, you know, really fast. And because I did, I never had any ill motives or ill intent, ill will toward people. I don't hate anybody. I don't wish death and destruction upon people. Okay. I, I don't, I don't wish, you know, bad things on anybody. Okay. I'm not that type of person. I've always been a good-hearted person, okay? And your religious people would wave that off like as if that don't mean nothing. But that means everything to the Father. See, you religious people got it twisted. You religious people think it's got to do with your religion. Which came from men. You have no understanding of the oracles of the Father. You don't even know the Father. Yes, it's about your heart. It's about your heart. Who are you? The Father wants to know who you are and He does. But are you His? Or are you Satan's portion? It's about your heart and how you live your life. And you can't hide that from the Father. 
He knows and sees all. So, you know, <laughs> bruh, <laughs> I can say this confidently that I know good things is coming for me because of how I live my life. I'm not in fear whatsoever. I'm in my father's hands and I'm at peace. He has given me divine peace. And, um, bro, I'm not going to keep this long. I'm not going to keep it long. I, I need to get off of here. I don't, don't want to just be rambling. But again, I wanted to say again, thank you to the person that is being used of the Father to sow unto his servant. It was at a critical, crucial time. You know, yet again, yet again. And all praises to my Father. For loving me and validating me. And, um, yeah, this is his validation, bruh. This is his validation. You know, the fact that I can t continue to be here to do what I know he's called me to do. That's validation in and of itself, okay? And um, I did also want to give this update. It's going to be quick. Um, I'm in a process of working on the book of Enoch. I'm compiling that video. Um, I started on that yesterday. Okay. And I have silenced the noise to hear the Holy Spirit. That was recorded on 12-24, okay, and what else do I have, one second. I have, the world has inherited lies, okay. So, yeah, the silence, the noise, to hear the Holy Spirit. Um, I'm planning on doing that one after I complete the Book of Enoch, okay? Uh, the Book of Enoch, that, that needs to come on out. Uh, the Book of Enoch, chapters 94 to 105, okay? Which was recorded on 11-11. All right, I still hadn't gotten that dang video out yet. I need to get that thing out. Okay, it's gonna be long though, and it's gonna be a series. Um. So and once I get the silence, the noise, to hear the Holy Spirit done, then I might be doing the world has inherited lies. Okay. Um. So that's three. Yep, that's three, and I got a Melanie. I got a melody entitled Purify My Heart. Um, that was recorded on 12-18. And I have something else that was recorded on 12-11 um, while I was relaxing in the tub. So I called it bath time. Anyway, I'm going to be going through that and seeing what I can um, create for you into a video. All right, so that's that's the update of what I have on my plate right now. This is not including older audios, okay? This is just the recent ones that the Father has placed upon my spirit to get done as soon as possible. All right, on that note, shalom.